Hello students, today we will learn about OneNote. Microsoft OneNote is a digital notebook that is a part of Microsoft Office Suite. It helps in making notes either handwritten or typed and creates a single place to store all your notes and information. It provides the flexibility to assemble and organize text, images, audio and video clippings together at one location on your computer. Let us discuss features of OneNote. Integration with other apps. Using OneNote you have the advantage of integration with other apps and services too. Take notes right on the web. With Microsoft Edge, the new browser for Windows 10, you can use the pen with your touch screen device or mouse to write on the web. After you take notes or highlight on a web page, you can share your handiwork to OneNote. Send contents to yourself in email. With me at OneNote.com, you can send contents from your inbox right to OneNote. It is a wonderful feature to store important contents so you can find them quickly later. Insert video and audio. You can insert video from Office Mix, YouTube and Vimeo into a page in OneNote. You can even incorporate audio notes, pictures and clip the web directly to OneNote by using the OneNote web clipper. Insert file from other applications. OneNote provides the facility to insert an entire file such as Excel spreadsheet, a presentation or a Word document into your notebook. Capture images on your phone with Office Lens. Office Lens is a phone app. It is an amazing bulletin feature of OneNote to capture notes from whiteboards, menus, drawings, sketches, images or anything with a lot of text. Built-in search facility. OneNote provides an incredible built-in search facility wherein you don't have to keep your notebook aside. You can search for topic related images, audio, video without opening a browser. Even you can use instant search to find anything you have created or saved in OneNote. Sharing and collaboration. You can share your notebook with multiple people in real time and can collaborate on it at the same time. The changes that others make get reflected in real time. If you ever need to share a snapshot of your notes with someone who does not have OneNote, you can export your files in a variety of file formats. OneNote saves and syncs everything while you work, so you can concentrate on your thoughts and ideas instead of your file. It is available as a standalone application that can be used by different operating systems such as Mac, Android, iOS, etc. Parts of the OneNote window Quick Access Toolbar contains the frequently used commands. Explore the ribbon. Click the ribbon tabs to see the various options and tools provided by OneNote. Collapse the ribbon. Click the arrow to collapse or expand the ribbon. Instant Search. Search an item in the current page or the entire notebook at once. Notebook Pages. These tabs display various pages in current notebook section. Slider to resize notebook window. Drag the edge to resize the window. Notebook Sections. Click these tabs to switch between sections in the current notebook. Notebooks pane. Displays the list of notebooks created in OneNote. Let us learn how to work with OneNote. Let me tell you how to create a new notebook first. To create a new notebook in OneNote. Click on Start then go to All Apps then go to OneNote 2016. The OneNote Start screen appears which displays the default Quick Notes tab. Click on the File tab and select the New option. The new notebook window appears in the right pane. Select this PC option and specify a name for your notebook in the Notebook Name text box. Click on the Create Notebook button placed beneath the text box. A new notebook opens with an untitled page. Let us learn how to open an existing notebook. Click on Start, All Apps then go to OneNote 2016. The OneNote Start screen appears. Choose file then go to open or press Ctrl plus O. Select the recent option under open from other locations section. Click on the notebook that you want to open. 
You can also browse for a notebook that is saved in a different location other than the default location by clicking on the browse option. Let me share with you that to insert a table in your notebook, click either on the insert then go to table option or select the insert then go to table then go to insert table option. Another fact to note is that the simplest way to create a table is to press the tab key after typing the text. Press the tab key again to add column and the enter key to insert a row. Repeating the above steps will create a table. Let us learn how to add sections. Just like our paper notebooks, OneNote notebooks are a collection of note pages. OneNote has a good organizational structure that makes it easy to keep everything in its place. It is organized into sections and pages and it is easy to make them colorful. Across the top of each notebook are tabs, each representing a section. You can have as many sections or pages in one note notebook as you desire. When you create a notebook, it creates a default section for you, namely New Section 1. To rename the default section, double-click on the New Section 1. A text box appears with the default name highlighted. Type a new name and press Enter. To create another section, click on the Create a New Section tab. A new tab appears with the default name highlighted. Type a name for the new section and press Enter. To change the color of any section tab, right click on the tab and select section color option and click on the desired color from the sub menu. Adding title and page. Each section that we create begins with an untitled page as can be seen in the right pane of the OneNote window. This page contains a black header below the section tabs. The header displays the date and time of creation. To add a title to the page, click on the blank header over the horizontal line, type a title and press the enter key. The title is also displayed on the page tab in the right pane. You can also right click on the page tab, choose rename option and type a name. To add a new page, click on plus add page option present in the right pane. A new untitled page appears at the end of all the page tabs in the section. Add title to the page by clicking on its blank header. By default, every page that you create in a notebook has a plain white background. You can add different colors to each page of your notebook. To do so, select the View tab. Click on the drop-down arrow of the Page Color option in the Page Setup group. Choose a color from the displayed list. 